How's it going, everybody? So I'm going to do a little quick update on the portfolio. Today it was a rough one after having a very nice uh, week before yesterday. We were up 5% at the highest point, up to uh, basically 38000 And we dropped down tremendously, down $2,297 so far today, down to $35,309. So... Still quite a bit of ways away to our goal of fifteen thousand, um, and it's mainly due to our top holdings, Neo and Tilray, because right now these two right here, I have the most equity. I have about twenty eight thousand, almost twenty nine thousand dollars in just Neo and Tilray by themselves. So if Neo look uh, has a bad day, down three, five, seven percent. My portfolio most likely will be down unless all my other stocks are going crazy. And that's what exactly what happened. Neo uh, is going down a little bit today. I mean, but look at it. In the past month, it's been on a tear. So it's expected for it to cool down at least for a little bit before it keeps moving upwards. I still believe Neo has the ability to get back to 60 bucks. I think the next uh, move up would be probably by the end of the month or the start of the next month when we see the delivery numbers. If we see anything more than 7,000, if we see 8,000 or 7,500 to 8,000 deliveries, I think that's going to be a sign for Nero move upwards. That means that the chip shortage is becoming less of a problem. They're able to go do more than the 7,000 that they're um, limited to. I believe that they're potential right now or what they say they can do at max capacity is like 10,000 uh, vehicles per month so if we can get closer to that by next month i think we'll see neo jumping up more and neo is going crazy neo is really pushing up their production i believe that they can be be able to do 300k and then 600k very very soon maybe next year the year after that and that's gonna be big that is gonna be big because if they can get to 300k or to 600k production soon that'll be what tesla did last year and you see you saw what tesla did last year tesla went all the way up to 900 dollars a share with uh, selling 500k cars 500,000 cars last year so if neo can do that i think neo will be well on its way to a hundred dollars plus if not more than that by the end of next year i believe neo can can most likely hit 60 to 70 bucks this year by the end of the year and then most likely can get anywhere from 100 to 120 dollars next year and that will be very very nice uh tilray i would i would believe the tilray was king squeeze but then now it's slowly slowing down uh, it's still up 27 percent this month um and that's same thing with this one it was up to 53 percent, and now it's going back down it's cooling off uh, if it can get back up, that would be nice. Ne uh, Sh Sh Shopify is going back up too. Shopify is really making it move upwards. It's really get trying to get up to the $1,500 range. Shopify, I believe, has super long-term potential. I think this one has the potential to be a trillion-dollar market cap. If I have any money long-term, I'll put my money into Shopify. Tattoo Chef for a minute was up 5%, but then it cooled off. I only have 100 shares of this one. I think if you can get this stock under twenty five bucks, I would probably, I would probably get by more. But right now, my main goal is to lower my margin use. Uh, Corsair, I thought this baby would get squeezed down more. It still hasn't happened, so we're gonna have to see. And there's MP material down four point five four or five percent. Tesla down two point nine seven percent. Neo being down three percent, and Tesla being down two point nine percent. It's kind of crazy. I think Neo would be down more than that, but. They're basically equals right now. Jumi again hammered. This is the only stock right now. I believe it's not going to be doing good for the next few years until 2024, 2025. I think that might be the first year we'll start moving. Uh, and then my last holding Ethereum 2500. I think Ethereum has lots of potential, lots of potential. My ultimate end game goal would probably get 10 coins, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to need to be able to deposit, at least at these prices, I'm going to need to deposit another 20k uh, um, let's see how i do let's see how i do but then that's the portfolio right there i don't really plan on buying anything right now i'd rather see way more um weakness way more and even then i plan on uh, trying to hold as long as possible right now i'm just holding i really don't even check my robin hood that much even if i get notifications the only time i really get uh 
really be logging on to my Robinhood is when I get notifications of a stock going up 5% or a stock going down 5%. But even then, I really don't want to pay attention and do, I want to be more strict about what I do. And that's how I'm going to keep this. I'm just going to be holding, holding for as long as possible, stacking my cash up. And whenever there's a next correction, I'll be able to pick up some shares. Uh, what I really want to buy, oh, look at that. CCIV. I want to, I actually, I'm interested in getting this one. I'm interested in CCIV, Coinbase. I'm also interested in, what else am I interested in? I'm interested in Palantir and what else, what else, what else? Mm. And I think mostly those ones, I mean, I'm interested in Palantir, Coinbase and CCIV. I would like to get a hundred shares in each of them. Coinbase is a little expensive though. What is Coinbase at on? 232, yeah. We'd like to see Coinbase go down more. We'd love to see it.